Hey GearHeads, this is Drew Craig with an AMP walkthrough for GearWire.com. I'm joined here with the Vox AC15CC. It's a custom classic series amp. Um, this series of amps was originally put out around 1958 by Vox, so this has been around for quite some time. This is, so to speak, the little brother of the AC30, which is the amp responsible for the British invasion, um, which is all those bands, you know, the Beatles, the Who, um, I could go on and on and on. Uh, so this amp is a, has a very trademark sound of classic rock and roll, and we're going to be talking about the various sounds you can get with it. Um, first and foremost, it's a 15-watt tube amp. has two EL84s and two 12AX7 tubes, uh, which is a pretty standard setup. The controls on the amp itself are, there's a master volume, a reverb control, treble, bass, tremolo, uh, speed, and depth and a, a pre-volume as well and there's also it comes with this foot switch right down here which is your standard AB which controls I believe reverb and tremolo. Um, this amp was manufactured in China and this particular one has a Celestion El Nico Blue speaker. Uh, it's also available with a custom made Vox GSH1230 speaker but uh, we got the nice one so we're gonna take a look at the various different sounds we can achieve with this amp. Um, also, it has a switchable speaker impedance into 8 and 16 ohms, so you can hook up other cabinets to it, which is a nice feature. So let's just get started. Right now I have the, uh, I have the uh, pre-gain at about 12 o'clock, and the master's down pretty low. This is actually a really loud amp. For those that are, that are kind of skeptical about low wattage amps, uh, when you start running them through tubes, they get a lot louder than you'd expect. So you can hear it's starting to break up. So you can hear it's a very, very kind of valvey type of breakup on it. Uh. So that's actually a really, really cool tone. If I back off the pregain a little bit and turn up the master just a tiny little bit, we're going to get a little bit of a cleaner. I'm going to use my uh, neck pickup. So that's a very smooth tone. Now when we start getting into the effects that are built into this thing, uh, it's very simple. The depth uh, for the tremolos right here and the speed, you just turn the knobs, I'm going to put them both to 12 o'clock and you're going to get a very nice tremolo sound. Now that sound to me would be desirable with a little bit more pre-gain. That's a very good tone. Um, now let's look at the reverb. It's got a spring reverb and let me tell you this is some pretty intense reverb. I'm gonna turn it up to about, I don't know, just let's just try like uh, nine o'clock and you can hear right off the bat. Let me turn down the tremolo so you can really hear it. It's a very long delay. It's kind of more of an old school type of sound. Um. type of reverb, a lot of, uh, lot, of, lot of delay time on the reverb, and when we turn it up a little bit more, it kind of almost reminds me of like a surf type of reverb there, so that's kind of fun. Now, um, the other thing I notice is when you turn the tremolo on and have the reverb on as well, the reverb is affected by the tremolo, and that's a, a really cool kind of uh, texture that you can get. And finally, just a couple of pointers that I've noticed about this amp. Uh, for one, uh, it, these knobs aren't the highest quality. It, like I mentioned, it is fabricated in China. Um, the input is a little loose, <laughs> kind of just came that way. But uh, generally, the tone is really good. The El Nico speaker sounds really good. And um, I'm going to crank the gain a little bit so we can really get that uh, British Invasion rock sound out of here. I'll turn on the master just a little. And, 
down the reverb a little bit. So there it is, the classic Vox tone. Uh, the other thing, it has a two band parametric EQ. I kind of wish it had a three band, uh, just treble and bass. I like to have a mid selection uh, for EQ as well. But other than that, it's a, it's a pretty, pretty decent amp for the money. Definitely, if you're going to buy this, uh, spring for the extra, I think it's a couple extra hundred bucks for the Alnico Blue Speaker. It makes a big difference. Thanks for watching.